Did you know our harmless shopping at Amazon once made a racist software? Nega. Welcome to part 3 of Designs and Discrimination, a series where we look at how racism exists intricately in our life and has slowly seeped in our design. Let's get back to 2018. A group called the ACLU did a test with recognition made by Amazon. It's supposed to recognize people's faces. They used it to research a bunch of artist photos and try to match them with pictures of all the members of the Congress. America wala. It made 28 mistakes. Well, that's a lot. And what's even worse? 40% of those mistakes were members of Congress who were people of color. Now get this. Only 20% of Congress is actually people of color. That means the software was getting it wrong more often for people of color. But wait. Ruko jara. Sabar guru. It gets even crazier. Some smart researchers from MIT did a similar study in 2019 and they found the same thing. The software was really good at matching pictures of light-skinned men. But it had a hard time with darker-skinned women. It got them wrong about 30% of the time. Now you might think that Amazon would fix these problems, right? Well, guess what? They said that their own tests showed different results, even though many of the studies revealed their fault. But here's the real shocking part. Amazon actually sold this software to the US police. What's the plan? Can you believe it? It's like they're saying, Hey guys, use this software that might get it wrong when it comes to people who do not have light skin. But that's just how you guys operate, so easy integration, yeah? Not cool, Amazon. 